there is a purpose in our existence god created us for a purpose nothing was created without a purpose and what was that purpose and today in our context what is the purpose through prophet isaiah in the first reading god tells us there are two responsibilities the purpose for our creation and he tells about the spiritual responsibility and social responsibility what is the spiritual responsibility we are created in the image and likeness of god so we need to keep that holiness in us and he says put away all your sins make clean yourself is a kind of spiritual process a spiritual responsibility that we have to keep up the holiness always to be in the state of grace on the other side god also tells us you have social responsibility and that he says listen the cry of the orphans defend the widows be on the side of the widows in our own context not only listening to the voice the cry of the orphans when you put in orphans there is a long list all the vulnerable in the societies listen the cry of the poor listen the cry of the infants listen the cry of the children the minors listen the cry of the homeless so we have we do have the social responsibilities that's what god wants us today through the first reading that we need to fulfill the purpose for what we are created coming to the gospel again god or lord jesus brings two different points for our reflection the first one our words and deeds should go hand in hand they should not contradict each other and he brings the example of pharisees the sadducees the scholars of the law and he says they sit in the chair of moses though so they are ha- they have the authority they are having the power to interpret or to bring new laws but they don't want to practice and he gives a long list what kind of honor recognition they seek in the public and he tells us let our actions or words may go together so what we want to say that is practice what we practice that might be our preaching so our preaching and our actions our words and deeds should go hand in hand so here he brings the sadducees and pharisees an example in a negative sense don't follow them so example in a negative sense the other point jesus brings himself as an example follow me i am meek and humble all those who humble themselves will be exalted and he set himself as an example we know the last supper he washed the feet of his own disciples and said follow me so you are called to serve so be humble and you will be exalted and that's what christ wants to bring himself an example in a positive sense so today we have two examples not to practice and to follow the other one so we pray jesus is our model let us keep his path for our spiritual renewal and to fulfill our social responsibilities may god bless us father son holy spirit amen